this is our to our service. We're out in Burgoyne's Cove once again, and, and it's really a delight to be here. There's a lovely little church and a lovely little community, and uh, I would urge you, if you're not from here or you haven't been here, make a drive down sometime. Just watch the potholes and the moose on the road, and you'll get here. It's worth the drive, I promise you. And uh, we're delighted to be here, and I wanted to thank Paul Tilly, as always, on the technology, and I'm joined by Alan Fudge and Rose Sutton, who are assisting with us service today. And it's a morning prayer from the Book of Common Prayer. As, and uh, so welcome also to all of you watching us from home. The Lord is in his holy temple, let all the earth keep silence before him. O oh, worship the Lord in the beauty of holiness, let the whole earth stand in awe of him. And we continue on page four. Dearly beloved, the scripture moveth us in sundry places to acknowledge and confess our manifold sins and wickedness, and that we should not dissemble nor cloak them before the face of Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, but confess them with an humble, lowly, penitent, and obedient heart, to the end that we may obtain forgiveness of the same by His infinite goodness and mercy. And although we ought at all times humbly to acknowledge our sins before God, yet ought we most chiefly so to do when we assemble and meet together to render thanks for the great benefits that we have received at His hands, to set forth His most worthy praise, to hear His most holy word, and to ask those things which are requisite and necessary as well for the body as the soul. Wherefore, I pray and beseech you, as many as are here present, to accompany me with a pure heart and humble voice to the throne of the heavenly grace. Almighty and most merciful Father, we have erred and strayed from thy ways like lost sheep. We have followed too much the devices and desires of our own hearts. We have offended against thy holy law. We have left undone those things which we ought to have done, and we have done those things which we ought not to have done, and there is no health in us. But thou, O Lord, have mercy upon us, miserable offenders. Spare thou them, O God, which confess their faults. Restore thou them that are penitent, according to thy promises declared unto mankind, in Christ Jesus you are Lord. And grant, O most merciful Father, for his sake, that we may hereafter live a godly, righteous, and sober life to the glory of thy holy name. Amen. Almighty God, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who desireth not the death of a sinner, but rather that he may turn from his wickedness and live, hath given power and commandment to his ministers, being to declare and pronounce to his people, being penitent, the absolution and remission of their sins. He pardoneth and absolveth all them that truly repent and unfeignedly believe his holy gospel. Wherefore, we beseech him to grant us true repentance and his Holy Spirit, that those things may please him which we do at this present, and that the rest of our life hereafter may be pure and holy so that at the last we may come to his eternal joy through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. And we continue on page 6. O Lord, open thou our lips. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost. As was in the beginning, as now, and so shall be, world without end. Amen. Praise ye the Lord. The Lord's name be praised. We continue with the Venite. On the bottom of page 6, we will say the Venite, and we will do the Venite together, please. O come, let us sing to the Lord. Let us heartily rejoice in the strength of our salvation. Let us come before his presence with thanksgiving, and show ourselves glad in him with songs. For the Lord is a great God, and a great King of all gods. In his hands are the corners of the earth, and the strength of the hills is his also. To see is his, and he made it, and his hands prepared the dry land. O come, let us worship and fall down, 
and kneel before the Lord our Maker. For he is the Lord our God, and we are the people of his pasture, and the sheep of his hand. Today will not ye who hear his voice. Harden not your hearts as in the provocation, and as in the day of temptation in the wilderness. When your fathers tempted me, proved me, and saw my works. Forty years long was I grieved for that generation of said, It is the people that do err in their hearts, for they have not known my ways. Unto whom I swear in my rock, that they shall not enter into my rest. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, as now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Amen. And we continue with our reading from First Peter. Our first reading is taken from First Peter, chapter five, beginning at verse one. All of you be subject one to another, and be clothed with humility, for God resisteth the proud and giveth grace to the humble. Humble yourselves, therefore, under the mighty hand of God, that he may exalt you in due time, casting all your care upon him, for he careth for you. Be sober, be vigilant, because your adversary the devil, as a roaring lion, walketh about seeking whom he may devour, whom resist steadfast in the faith, knowing that the same afflictions are accomplished in your brethren that are in the world. And the God of all grace, who hath called you into his eternal glory in Christ, after that ye have suffered a while, shall himself restore, establish, strengthen you. To him be glory and dominion forever and ever. Amen. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The proper psalm for this morning's service is Psalm 25, to be found on page 358 in the Book of Common Prayer. The Psalm 25, to be found on page 358. Page 358, and we'll read the psalm responsibly by the full verse. Unto thee, O Lord, do I lift my soul. My God, I have put my trust in thee. O oh, let me not be confounded, neither let my enemies triumph over me. For all that I hope in thee shall not be ashamed, but such as transgress without a cause shall be put, on, put to confusion. Show me thy ways, O Lord, and teach me thy paths. Lead me forth in thy truth, and teach me. For thou art the God of my salvation, in thee is my hope all the day long. Call to remembrance, O Lord, thy tender mercies, and thy loving kindnesses which have been ever of old. O remember not the sins and offenses of my youth, but according to thy mercy think thou upon me, O Lord, for thy goodness. Gracious and righteous is the Lord, therefore will he teach sinners in the way. Them that are meek shall be guided in judgment, and such as are gentle, then shall he teach his ways. All the paths of the Lord are mercy and truth, unto such as keep his covenant and his testimonies. For thy name's sake, O Lord, be merciful unto my sin, for it is great. What man is he that feareth the Lord? Him shall he teach in the way that he shall choose. His soul shall dwell at ease, and his seed shall inherit the land. The secret of the Lord is for them that fear him, and he will show them his covenant. My eyes are ever looking unto the Lord, for I shall pluck my feet out of the net. Turn thee unto me, and have mercy upon me, for I am desolate and in misery. Relieve thou the sorrows of my heart, or bring thou me off my troubles. Look upon my adversity and misery, and forgive me all my sins. Consider my enemies, how many they are, and ere the day transgress eight against me. Lord, my soul and deliver me. Let me not be confounded, for I have put my trust in thee. Let perfect 
uprightness and righteousness and dealing, dealing preserve me, for my hope is in thee. Deliver Israel, O God, out of all his troubles. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Holy Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ according to Luke, the 15th chapter, beginning with the first verse. Glory to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Then drew near unto him all the publicans and sinners for to hear him. And the Pharisees and scribes murmured, saying, This man receiveth sinners and eateth with them. And he spake this parable unto them, saying, What man of you, having an hundred sheep, if he lose one of them, doth not leave the ninety and nine in the wilderness, and go over that which is lost, until he find it. And when he hath found it, he layeth it on his shoulders rejoicing. And when he cometh home, he calleth together his friends and neighbors, saying unto them, Rejoice with me, for I have found my sheep which was lost. I say unto you that likewise joy shall be in heaven over one sinner that repenteth, more than over ninety and nine just persons who need no repentance. Either what woman, having ten pieces of silver, if she lose one piece, does not light a candle and sweep the house and seek diligently till she find it? And when she hath found it, she calleth her friends and her neighbors together, saying, Rejoice with me, for I have found the peace which I had lost. Likewise I say unto you, there is joy in the presence of the angels of God over one sinneth, sinner that repenteth. This is the Gospel of Christ. We stand together and affirm the faith we share in the words of the Apostles' Creed, which you can find on page 10. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Ghost, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, dead, and buried. He descended into hell. The third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven, and sitteth on the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From thence he shall come to judge the quick and the dead. I believe in the Holy Ghost, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with thy spirit. Let us pray. Lord, have mercy upon us. Lord, have mercy upon us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive them that trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. O Lord, show thy mercy upon us. O Lord, save the Queen, and mercifully hear us when we call upon thee. Endue thy ministers with righteousness, and make thy chosen people joyful. And O Lord, save thy people, and bless thy inheritance. Give peace in our time, O Lord, and evermore mightily defend us. O God, make clean our hearts within us, and take not the Holy Spirit upon us. And we move to our time of intercession. Our service continues on page 11. O God, O Lord, offer of peace and lover of concord, in the knowledge of whom standeth our eternal life, whose service is perfect freedom, defend us, thy humble servants, and all the thoughts of our enemies, that we may surely, trusting in thy defenses, may not fear the power of any adversities, to the might of, of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. Our Lord, our Heavenly Father, Almighty and everlasting God, who has safely brought us to the beginning of this day, 
Defend us the same with thy mighty power, and grant that this day we fall to no, no sin, nor run into any kind of danger, that our doings may be ordered by the governance to do always as righteousness in thy sight, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Turn to page 221, for the colic on page 221. The bottom of page 221, the colic for the Sunday. And we'll say the colic together. O Lord, we beseech thee, mercy is thee, to hear us, and grant that we, to whom thou hast given us an heartly desire to pray, may by thy mighty aid be defended and comforted in dangers and adversities. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. <coughs> we continue with prayers on page 39. Prayer for Church Universal. Most gracious God, we all beseech thee for thy holy Catholic Church, filled with all truth, in all truth, with all peace. Where is corrupt, purify it, where is an heir, direct it. Where anything is amiss, reform it. Where it is right, strengthen and confirm it. When it is in want, furnish it. When it is divided and rent asunder, make it all again. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. A prayer for the unity of Christian people. O Lord, who does say unto thy apostles' peace, I leave with you, my peace I give unto you. Regard not our sins, but the faith of thy church, and grant unto it that peace and unity which is agreeable to thy will, who lives and reigns with the Father and the Holy Spirit, one God, one world without end. Amen. Amen. In, our, in our Anglican cycle of prayer, we pray for the United Church of North India. In our Tridiocesan intercession, we pray for the parish of Labrador West and the Reverend Robert McLean. We pray for the parish of Lake Melville and the River Nelly Thomas. Bottom page 40, we pray for the extension of the church. O God, who has made one blood of all nations of men for to dwell on the face of the earth, and to send thy blessed Son, Jesus Christ, to preach peace to them that are far off and to them that are not, grant all peoples of the world may feel after thee and find thee, and hasten, O Lord, the fulfillment of thy promise, to pour out thy spirit upon all flesh, to the same thy Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. On page 55, a prayer for healing ministries. In our prayers this morning, we lift up in prayers Daryl, Alonzo, Mitchell, Myra, Dale, Lynn, Edna, Elaine, Priscilla, Matthew, Louise, Dennis, Dory, Nancy, Paul, Lucy, Woodrow, and any others, you can say them out loud or quietly in your words. My mother, Barbara Warren. Almighty God, whose blessed Son, Jesus Christ, went about doing good and healing all manners of sickness and disease among the people. Continue, we beseech thee, that his gracious work among us, cheer, heal, and sanctify the sick. Grant to the physicians, surgeons, and nurses wisdom and skill, set thee in patience, and send down thy blessing upon all who labor, to prevent suffering and to forward our purpose of love, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. On page 15, prayer of St. Chrysostom. Say together, Almighty God, who has given us grace at this time of one accord to make our common supplications unto thee, and has promised that when two or three are gathered together in thy name, they will grant their requests. Fulfill now, Lord, the desires and petitions of thy servants, as may be most expedient for them, granting us in this world knowledge of thy truth, and in the world to come, life everlasting. Amen. Thank you very much for being part of our service today, and you're very much part of it, even though you're sitting on your couch with your cup of coffee and your bathrobe on. I'm very delighted to have you here. 
Um, one of these days, we'll all have to show up with my fuzzy pink slippers and a cup of coffee just to even it out somehow, but I have a feeling that not everyone would have the sense of humor about that that I would. But thank you to, uh, to Paul and to Alan and to, uh, to Rose for helping out with our service today. And uh, thank you to all who join us online. We'll end with the grace. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all evermore. Amen. And just a note that for those of you in Newfoundland and Labrador, we have moved up a level, which means in theory churches are now allowed to meet, but just to let people know that we have a lot of work to do before we get there. So the earliest will be back in the church buildings for worship will be the beginning of September and it won't look quite the same yet. We have some initial guidance from the provincial government. We've got some work to do so stay tuned. We'll certainly let people know and there will continue to be services available for the even after we move into the church although they may look a little different than this. That's part of what we have to figure out. But thank you for this and uh, stay safe. Amen.